perhaps I should start with different reactions we have seen from different quarters. You know, some calling for the protest, planned protests to be shelved, others asking for the government to dialogue with the organizers of the protest. What's your reaction to all of this? Well, uh, firstly, let me say that uh, I'm the National Secretary of the Youth Rights Campaign, uh, which was one of the organizations that played a pivotal role during the NSAS protests, and has also played a pivotal role in working class uh, protests and struggle you know, across the nation. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, the ruling elite of Nigeria are aware of the hardship that have been imposed on the Nigerian people ever since this administration came in. It has become necessary for Nigerian people to embark on this protest because life has become miserable for people, especially the Nigerian youth who can no longer feed. As I speak to you, most Nigerian youths depends on friends and families to survive daily. Some have to resort into criminality and prostitution for them to survive. And you wonder, how do you now hold such people who have been debased, who have been kept under slavery, poverty, and misery? How do you now think you can hold such people from coming out to protest? Hmm. I don't think the government understands what is, I mean, what is coming. Uh, uh, Mr. Wapa, the Nigerian people. Mm. Yes. You know, just to chip in there, Mr. Wapa, in as much as uh, you know, we understand that things are no longer how they used to be. I mean, the headline inflation is now at 34%. We have food inflation at 41%. But do you think this protest is the only alternative? How about other means to negotiate? What do you make of that? <laughs> Talking about negotiation, then you should ref you should compare the you should talk about the NLC negotiation. What came out of it? This this system, this set of individuals does not need negotiation. The only answer to this is for the Nigerian people to prepare for the, prepare themselves for the protest in August, because you are talking of a regime that in the midst of poverty and misery has spent over $150 million in the purchase of a jet. You are talking of a regime that have kept on lavishing the resources of Nigerians on buying yachts, on renovation of houses for vice presidents, on buying SUV for lawmakers, is that the kind of regime you want to negotiate with? But, but, but when you These say... people have shown that... Mm, I mean, when you say I mean, there is no room for dialogue or negotiations, there are concerns, you must agree, regarding the protests, you know, planned protests, that these protests, this planned nationwide protest, may perhaps snowball into anarchy, and then lives and properties may be lost. What do you make of that? I don't think... So it is only uh, the government and its puppets that promote such narrative. Firstly, let me say that the word peaceful protest is undermining the right to protest. Protest is a right. And you saying peaceful protest is undermining that right. So I am going out with my placards to protest, the only person that has the power to make a protest not to be peaceful is the state and the state machineries. Because they are the ones that are coming with guns and tear gas. And so they are the ones that have the capacity to make a protest not to be peaceful. They are the ones that sponsor talks. We saw what happened during the NSAS. The pictures are all over the internet. But, but, but do the you... PRT was used to convey what? To, be, to attack protesters. 
where DSS vehicles were used to convey to convey thugs to attack protesters. But do you have to for that? that we are holding I, I I must chip in at this we have point. Mr. Wapa, I we must. Have pure, we have pure vote. Okay, I mean, it's all over the internet. Those are allegations, you know, just to ensure that you have proof of what she is saying. But then, would you do you think, you know, a dialogue between the government and then organizers of the plant protests would be prob probably, you know, a silver bullet and then a way forward? Why do you wait for dialogue when you already know the demands? Reverse pump price of fuel. Back to pre May 29, reverse the education commercialization. This government has this government has taken education out of the reach of the poor by introducing loan instead of giving grants to our students. Our students can no longer go to school. Reverse electricity tariff. I tell you today, as a result of the discriminatory categorization of electricity users, the community where I stay. I recharge 2,000 Naira every day. So it means that any day that I don't have 2,000 Naira, I will sleep in darkness. What kind of government implements such policies? And it is, it is, it is, it is important for us to note that these governments do not have the interests of Nigeria at hand. Rather, it is there to satisfy the policies of IMF World Bank to further impoverish Nigeria people that have been impoverished during the, the, the Buhari administration. And so we they already know the demands. Meet these demands before the day, before the commencement of the protest. So that there won't be ne for need for negotiation. All and right. Let That's me the most we clear. can take. Thank you that so much. Protest is both the protest That's a fine place to wrap up. For, for, for time, Mr. Mr. Wapa. Mr. Wapa. If you can hear me. Mr. Wapa. These are Nigerians that are hungry and are ready to protest. Mr. Wapa, right. thank you so much for your insight on the news. National Secretary of the Youth Rights Campaign, many thanks indeed for your time. Mm -hmm.